So today I'm just going to do a simple, quick and easy style that was inspired by um, the TV show Insecure. Issa Rae rocks her hair natural and I really love it and I get some great style inspiration from there. Um, so I'm starting off with clean stretched hair and I'm going to go ahead and make an ear to ear part. Um, in real time, I mean this video is actually like cut and sped up for YouTube, but in real time I would say this didn't take any more than 20 to 30 minutes to do and probably would have been quicker if I wasn't trying to uh, record it as I'm doing it. But yes, yeah, so I'm doing the ear to ear part. And now I'm going to just tie the back out of the way. I'm going to make an off center part and I'm just going to go ahead and just do it, you know, slant it a little bit because that's kind of how I like my hair. Now I'm going to clip um, the longer, bigger section out of the way and start on this side. I'm just going to go ahead and make the braid as thick as I want. I'm not worrying about separating the section perfectly in half. Um, if I need to, I'll go back in and make the back section bigger or smaller so the braids are around the same size. After my hair is sectioned off, I'm going to go ahead and moisturize it and start the corn roll. I like to detangle before I start the corn rolls with the wide tooth comb just because it makes it easier for my fingers to slip through the hair. And now I'm beginning this corn roll. Um, but I found that if you keep the three sections of the corn roll separate, the braids come out neater. And also I just try to only pick up hair. I only add hair to the middle section. Um, so if a piece of hair is in the middle, that's when hair is getting added. Um, my fingers and hands move all over the place just because um, as I need to grab my hair, my hands change. But I found if I focus on just adding hair to the middle, only to the middle section and keeping the section separate, I get a nice clean, neat braid. And I also like doing my hair because I can adjust the amount of tension that I add to the braid. And doing braids along the hairline helps reduce the amount of tension on your hair. Um, my edges are a little thin right now due to postpartum shedding. So I like styles like this that um, are neat and minimize the amount of tension on my hair. Um, as I part this section off, you'll be able to really see um, the amount of postpartum shedding. But right now, I'm just trying to get the part lined up so that it looks like one continuous part. Um, and yeah, there you can see where the postpartum shedding has set in and my edges are super thin. But again, that's one of the benefits of doing my own hair. Um, I know what my hair needs and I can see that it's thinning there and I won't put nearly as much tension there as I would on any other section. So now I'm just moisturizing, detangling, and um, repeating the process. I found adding a little product, you know, at the bottom of the braid, like at the base, helps make it neat. And my hair is like super moisturized when I take my styles down.
Okay, this is the last braid that um, I'm gonna do on camera. And that's all four done. And now I'm just gonna moisturize the ends and add some styling butter and gel to the end just to kind of uh, finish off the ends and keep them moisturized. After that, I'm gonna start working on getting that back section of my hair back in the puff. Um, my hair is like super stringy and thin in the back and then very thick in the middle and it's hard for me to get it into a puff down low so I'm just gonna uh, wet it and start working it in a few sections. So I'm gonna part a uh, section off the bottom section and add some leave-in conditioner. Yeah, now I'm just gonna kind of like try to smooth it down in two or three different sections, you know, brushing each section and just kind of like working it down. I knew like I didn't want to keep this low puff in for more than like a day or two, that's why I didn't use a whole bunch of gel. Um, but if you want to keep this look for a longer period of time, you can definitely slick it down with some gel or edge control working in sections. So this is the final uh, kind of attempt to smooth it down. Um, again, just some water and some leave-in. Um, and I use like these super stretchy scrunchies. Um, I'll link to them below, but I get them from Amazon and they sell them in like large packs. And now I'm gonna add the um, accessories, those little silver crown accessories to the crown of my braids. And yeah, so that was the final look that was inspired by um, Issa Rae on Insecure. Um, I prefer bigger puffs higher up so later in the week, I experimented with a uh, twist out. Um, and I also eventually ended up putting it into a puff more towards the center of my head. Um, so this hairstyle is versatile and the two braids just kind of like serve as an accent. You can do what you want in the back. I mean, you could do two braids back there. You can leave the low puff. You can do like a rod set, um, pretty much anything you want. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you had if and if you have go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tips tricks and hairstyles to help you simplify your natural hair king routine. Thank you.